These healthy cheesecake bars are less work than traditional cheesecake but still taste great. There's no water bath or spring form pan needed and because of its smaller size they bake and chill faster. They're a great make ahead dessert because these bars get even better after a day or two sitting in the fridge. You only need a few simple ingredients to make this recipe and for the crust I combined third of a cup quick cooking oats and half cup processed ground oats. Also half tablespoon cocoa powder for some darker color, two tablespoons melted butter, two tablespoons maple syrup and two tablespoons applesauce or just add some water to make it sticky. Mix everything until it's crumbly, if it's too dry add a little bit more water. And use your fingers to press the mixture into the bottom of your baking pan, which I line with parchment paper so I can lift it out and cut easier. Pre-bake the crust for 10 minutes and let it cool down a bit while you make the cheesecake filling. Instead of cream cheese, which is delicious but packed with calories, I add 1 cup ricotta cheese. It's great for making desserts, it's light and creamy and has more protein than cream cheese. And I add 1 cup Greek yogurt in order to make the filling more moist and a bit tangy. For sweetness, I add 3rd cup liquid sweetener, either maple syrup, honey or agave and 3 to 4 tablespoons freshly squeezed lemon juice, which is about the juice of one lemon. Mix everything on low speed, adding 2 eggs, one at a time, this will give the structure to the filling. And also I prefer to add 2 tablespoons old flour because I don't like my bars to be too soft. Anyway, do not overbeat it or you'll add too much air into the mixture, that can make your cheesecake crack while baking and chilling. Pour everything over the pre-baked crust and it goes in the oven for about 25 minutes or until the outer ring of the cheesecake is set, but the center still jiggles a bit, so you should keep an eye on it, or it will be overbaked. Now let the cheesecake cool to room temperature at least one hour in order to fully set, and you can cover the pan with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for 3 hours or even better overnight. This chilling and waiting will help the cheesecake to improve the texture, but also it's gonna taste way better and hit that sweet and sour balance just right. When chilled, remove the bars from the baking pan and using a sharp knife you can slice it into evenly sized bars, either 9 or 16 pieces, and you can enjoy yourself or serve for a crowd. And while serving you can add a spoonful of whipped cream on top or some fresh berries, but it's just optional. Anyway, these lighter lemon cheesecake bars are creamy and delicious, just enough sweet and just enough lemony I would say. It's the perfect summer dessert, but you can make it all year long, whenever you crave something light and sweet. And if you enjoy lemon desserts like I do and want to make them healthier, I suggest you check out my entire healthy lemon desserts playlist and add some new recipes into your rotation. Thank you so much for watching, see you in another video, stay healthy, stay happy.